Overheat game time. All right, folks, what you're about to see is me commentating on some matches that I watched on a client that allows you to play old arcade games through the internet against people on your computer. Uh, it does a really good job. Um, the type of netcode that it uses is called a rollback netcode. So occasionally you will see stutters in the game. Uh, the stutters are what happens when you get a lag spike as opposed to just playing in a consistently laggy environment. This allows you to play games with virtually no lag whatsoever, but every time there's a spike you get uh, this weird sort of a jittery effect. So enjoy. All right, folks, this is SVC Chaos, SNK versus Capcom Chaos. What a lot of people don't know is that when uh, Capcom made the Capcom vs. SNK games, SNK got the rights to Capcom characters so they would play, so they could make their own game. Um, I feel that they made more interesting choices in the character development, the character department. Uh, it is a weirder game. It is... I don't want to say it's not as good, but it's kind of not as good. Uh, I like the... I like what they did with it. Um, I like the... I like the graphics. They have that kind of old school look. Like that's a very, that is a very old school Wii U look. You know, they kind of went with the strengths of the hardware and just you know made everybody look old school. But yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, the the play control is difficult to deal with. It's it's a little too sensitive about uh, doing your motions correctly to the point where like some charge characters you have to do the exact correct charge. But you know, enough of that. Let's just get into this. Um, Ryu, everybody knows. Uh, Tabasa, I thought was Tabitha, but whatever. She's from a game called Red Planet, I believe. A very unknown uh, Capcom fighting game that was done on the CPS3 hardware. Uh, very few games were done on CPS3 hardware. It was Street Fighter 3 was the most well-known, of course. And they did a game in Japan called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and they did uh, Red Planet. I feel like there might be one other one, but if there is, there's only one other one. Because that they made the CPS3 board near the end of the lifestyle, or the end of the lifespan of the arcade machines. And also, I guess it became difficult for them to get stuff done on it, so they ended up uh, switching over to a different thing called the Atomus Wave, I think it was. But at any rate, oh man, he's got the cat over his head. Oh, no. Oh, that was kind of tight. Man, she's got some weird shit. That's what I'm talking about. It looked like she was throwing projectiles out and having them pop up in spots where it requires cross-up timing on the block. That's that's interesting. Uh, I, I played this game maybe twice, <laughs> so I don't know the characters very well at all. I mean, I know who they are because I've played most of the other games. But, um, <clears throat> like, Tabasa has never been in anything other than Red Planet, and I never played Red Planet, so I'm fully unfamiliar with what her moveset is. Clearly, she's got some really weird projectile-based things where she's throwing pigeons and... Or is that a dove or a rooster? I don't know what that is. Ghosts? Okay, I, I know what a ghost is. Yeah, she looks like she's a tricky character. And it looks like her specialty is sort of like mid-range. Because most of the stuff he's throwing out there seems to be covering the mid-range area. Whoa. Whoa. What just happened there? Meteorites. The Haley's Comet Crusher, but she's still going down. All Ryu needs to do is just get that one. Oh no, come on Ryu, there you go. There's your short kick. No escape! No escape! Alright, Ryu throws a super right out at the beginning of the match to no avail. He's playing the mid-range game, which doesn't seem to be the smartest thing to do against this uh, character, but uh, again, I don't know her very well. Bad timing on the fireball, but it was not his fault. Oh, there should have been a fireball there. Oh, come on now, where's the timing on that medium kick? Okay, there you go, good uppercut. I don't know how you knew she was going to try to jump all the way across the screen. What the hell was that? Okay, yeah, that was bad timing on your uh, super. Oh man, that was an interesting combo. Is that going to... Oh, okay, I was going to say, that would be crazy if that combo... Man, those pigeons, you just can't stop the pigeons. Pigeon drill. Okay, that, I, I see where you're going with that, but it was, again, it was just bad timing. Look out for the pigeon drill. Dang, knocking it up with the medium kicks. There you go, ducking fierce punch. That's all it is. Alright, so let's see what the Tabasa player does. If she stays with Tabasa or if she moves to somebody else. Here we go. She's 
playing the mid-range game. He's doing a really good job of it. Oh man, she had an opportunity. But that teleport seems like it's just a teeny bit too slow to take advantage of in a offensive back fashion. But that's probably... Oh! God damn! Okay, and then she just... Okay, yeah, no. So that teleport looks like it's probably better for getting out of sticky situations than trying to capitalize on the opponent's mistake. I kind of, I kind of, ooh, wow. I kind of question whether or not you could even, like, read an opponent's fireball and teleport full screen and be able to punish. She should have jumped that, but blocking is definitely a viable option there. And Ryu coming down hard with those ducking kicks, and she's just not guarding her ankles. But now he's got her worried about her ankles so much, she's not even blocking the jump-ins. Gets an uppercut, she's got him in the corner. There you go, she gets another uppercut. Oh man, but he comes through with the combo. Jumping Fierce completely misses, must have gone for cross-up. And down she goes with the oldest combo in the book. Well, the second oldest combo in the book. Well, the third oldest combo in the book, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, an old combo for sure. So unfortunately for me, it doesn't look like anybody's interested in playing the characters I like. <laughs> You'll notice it seems like people are steering clear of charge characters, because like I said, I heard there's some sort of a bug with charge characters in this game where, you know, like say, um, Guile's Sonic Boom is back for two seconds and then forward and punch. But everybody knows that you can hold down back for two seconds and then go forward and punch, and you get a Sonic Boom too, because even though you weren't holding straight back, you were holding down back, which counts. And this game, I hear sometimes that isn't the case. Sometimes you'll be holding down back and it won't let you do that. So what you have to do is hold down back, and then when you're going to do the move, you need to bring the controller back to the straight back position and then go forward. But again, I may have heard incorrectly. I'm not a super fan of this game. I don't know a lot about it. I was just curious when I played it why when I played Vega and my stuff was just never coming out. Oh, that was sick! What a good combo! From behind! Oh! Oh! They needed me more in the corner for that to work, buddy. So much super! How does she have so much super? Oh, come on, guys. This is a little snafu. Let's play. Oh, man. <laughs> right when Ryu decides to play, she says, You can't play with me. My daddy told me I can't play with you, Ryu. You're too rough. Oh, air throw. Puts him in the corner. Now she's holding him down. He gets out of it with a fireball and he gives himself some room. She's in the corner, but just as fast she's not because she jumps all over the place. Ryu with those ducking kicks, man, just not respecting the ankles of any female that I've seen so far. The way he's been beating on ankles, if these girls go into any Arabic country, when they walk around, people are going to be like, man, she has an abusive husband. Whoa, there it is. Little tip for anybody who plays these games, whenever you see that, that little just block. <laughs> just block and wait for it to end. Oh, bad. That was bad. Yeah, you got what you deserve there. I'm assuming she did that preemptively, hoping that he was going to about to jump, because he has been jumping it quite a bit. So that was not a combo. She should have been blocking there. She was clearly trying to get something to come out. Wow, that was a throw from pretty far away. Okay, I don't know what the flash was, but it was bad timing. Yeah, there it is. It's the old ducking medium kicking with the super. Oh, come on, where was this combo? You have jumping fierce. That's all you needed. All right, she's uh, making him respect her little fireball game. Oh, ooh, man. He's just holding it down at the full range of motion. She cannot... Wow. Wow, she cannot buy a break with those fireballs. It's like every one of those fireballs was custom made for her butt to sit on when she jumps. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, like it. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button. If you have any questions or suggestions you'd like to throw out there, drop them in the comments section below. That's it for today, Internet. Johnny, bye bye.